257, thanks for the follow. Run my again. Oh, he was playing blue. Yeah. Let's see if this matchup works. Wow. Ogre Dance. Uh, it's, I think it's hard to use. Isn't it just hard to use Ogre Dance? Well, you empty your hand first and then... I go for the bargain opener that I do often. Just double land and then mountain between the wells. And if I can double collect, or just collect once, I can even plus one to drop another devil. I hate blue red. <clears throat> now my archons are already triggered. Is he going same side? Kind of sucks if I give him this land. I want to get between the wells. Let's orient the blind forest in-game soundtrack. That soundtrack is like made for Faria. Oh, he's going other side. I'm actually happy about that. We have the double collector and one tick. It's actually right to play X Grinder here. Yeah. If he goes between the worlds, we can still double collect trade. Ah, the T Ducks, thanks for the follow. I don't see a good light for him with this board. Like, it almost looks like a Force Master, then I collect from this one. If he just jumps here, I have this, these two land. And I would prefer if he jumps down here. But if he goes there, that makes his lands worse. Okay, that means I can double collect. No lake yet, but that's okay. He's not afraid of me having one extra damage. Punished? Where did I drop that guy? I have no idea why I dropped that guy. Like, does it make sense to drop him here? Or just here? I really don't know. I guess here I can threaten creatures, but it's only a 3 3 in front of my orb. Yeah. That is the most logical one. I mean, if I play it here, I can move this up to do things. I can use this to profit of tides. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Cup went for 7. I was really not sure. I think it's a close call still. But I think you guys are right. It has to be right. It sucks that he will get this land. I want to make a lake there. He will just drop a Mystic Beast or a Colossus. Come on, I need Garrodon soon. This is a good Archon spot. Next turn I can Devil and Archon, same turn. I don't like this. I could collect with the Horse Master and get this Lake spot. Does that help me anything, anyhow? I can just Horse Master here. I still have the Pharah for it. So these two kill that. That's pretty ugly. Do I care if he gets that free trade? Kind of, because it's strong against my red devil. I guess I just waste the horse man, horse master. Hit into the air. Cup always wants to collect. Cup 
cup was always so greedy for this wells. I can see that being good. But then it just doesn't go face with it, right? I mean I have the profit, okay, you're right, cup, I have the profit. Where do I lake? Do I actually lake here? It's not easy for me to get the land there. Yeah, if he runs away, I have the profit. Which should be fine. That means I can't play Archon. But I can Devil and Prophet. It's still a good. I need one Farrier. One Farrier might. I have so much late game scaling now. Like, my Firebringers are big, my. Hate seats are discounted. I just need not to die. I'm not sure about that lake because you can step on it. Then it's not going to risk. I need to throw everything here at my orb to defend. I actually don't want him to. St oh no, he's ninja toad. That sucks. That's the scary thing if you double collect here. Okay, that's okay. Does he have follow up? It's not that bad. I can even hellfire, I guess. Um, I don't outrace him. I'm pretty sure I outvalue Colossus because I have just more cards that scale. So I have options. If I played here, this dies to campfire. I think here, here, here is somehow interesting. I think it's here. I still have mobility if I play it here and then profit. No. He's one card on hand. If he frogifies a hellfire, is that even a good hellfire? Maybe I should play it in a spot where it survives so I can make the trade. So I play it here, then next turn profit and kill everything. I mean, he can kill it from everywhere. Might also make him play defensive. Not sure if that is needed. If he drops battle toads, I kill my thing anyway. Now I'm forced to play the prophet. I should have played it. I yeah, I don't need to think about value, I just need to think about surviving. Like, I have to make lands and use profit. Oh, that's good. You can actually collect from the well. Pretty sure Cappuccino will like that. Oh, can I? No, I don't have enough charge, so I have to push it here. Then I kill that with Hellfire. Baited. SDF, thank you for the follow. So I make a land here for sure. Do I make a land here to set up X runner spots? Attacking lands. Could also make a land here. What blue creatures do I have? What matters? Could even make a lake here. I like these two, I think. He used the ninja toad already. This guy could have moved so I can horse master face. Well, I might even collect from this orb. If he has Colossus, I need to deal 2 damage to this one and 1 damage to Colossus. It's not so unlikely. Actually, he wants to go in between the wells, so... Um, that means... 
Uh, he has to waste his ability wheel, so it's good to not make that. Yeah, very often one of my mistakes I do a lot is that I make lands for my enemy. ET Xebex, thanks for the follow. Come on, the Colossus needs to die here. Double Colossus would suck. I actually placed that. What's so cool? Interesting. Can I draw? No, I should plus one and drop the Gabriel for sure. Oh, I can actually double collect with it. Wait, do I even Hellfire? I don't think I Hellfire. Draw last. Just Hellfire as Cypher's Wrath doesn't seem worth. JCF, thanks for the follow. I like playing X ground here just so I can weaken uh, Colossus. I should do it. In the sea. So, thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh my god, so many followers today. Must be many people from Capus stream that didn't know me, maybe. Can Hellfire. Like if I didn't block him from collecting, maybe it was worth. I kill a creature, I deny him two farrier. <laughs> One of my problems is I don't have lands next to the orb. But I still think this land opening is decent. If you really wanted to set up double collectors. He has lots of farrier. 10? That's not... It's a bit scary. Oh, do you think he's... I don't think he's playing Reavers. Yeah, to be honest, this deck doesn't look like a Reaver deck. It's just making many legs. Because... He has to. It looks like a clip. Even it's Especially with Campfire. We don't run Campfire in a Reaver deck. Why does he not play anything? Why is he afraid? I haven't drawn any scaling creature. Yeah, that sucks if he drops a Colossus now. No Colossus, just collecting. Or just battle toads. Should I spend for it? will kill it for sure. Oh, Shara. Come on, give me zero cost. Damn it, that sucks now. Probably should do it. I'm from Austria. This is not good. This is this is okay. It should die. Good. If I drop Shara to contest the Colossus, it's scary. I need to draw into my hate seeds. What? He played some two ninja toads already, so that's uh, not an answer. Oh, that's a very good draw. Come on, hates it. What's drawing? Okay, actually. Shara is just too risky. I shouldn't run Shara in this deck. <laughs> Do I play him here? So I can't get blocked. I do I play him here so I can collect? Then he can block it. That's a very interesting land spot. I think I'm fine playing this here. I wish I could drop the commander between the worlds. If he's another Colossus now. Fuck, I might have needed Shara. Yeah, Shara needs 7 attack <laughs> to kill Colossus. It's a Dragon Slayer though, it's not a Colossus Slayer. <laughs> like, that's 6 attack to kill Dragons. Hmm, I'm in a very rough spot, I'm on 2 health. If he has another Colossus here, I'm on 2 health. Because I don't draw my fucking late game. I mean, I have Archons, I guess, that's decent. Mm. 
Yes, Colossus are loose. Wait, can I go face Leafer? If everything hits face, I'd win. <laughs> Rip. Actually, if I draw hate, I go face. To block and then go face. So I deal 12 damage, I only need 3 ticks on face. I would be surprised if he needs to think that long if he should play the Colossus. Okay, throw if I makes more sense. Can he kill me? That's so annoying. Five damage on this. He has one told in deck. I can't risk the hellfire here, I think. I hate this. Why my hate seeds? Should have only played one and played the X runner here, maybe. The music intensifies, but. This is looking bad. Let's hope he's told us in last three cards or last five cards. Uh, he probably won't have lethal otherwise. I don't see a way. Like he's not going to have double campfire here. Told is the only scary thing. He played two already. Come on, please game. I, the only I win this. If he has not told, I win this game. The only way I lose is if he has told. It would suck if I need to play two creatures or defend. I'm clearing next turn for sure with Hellfire. I have two draws to make this flying. I have all my hates it's left. I have Garrodon left. I guess that's it that can trigger it. So I have only four four cards that can trigger. That's a two draws. One out of three. That's a two out of Three. Yeah, two out of three. With two draws. I have a two out of three to make this flying. What? Oh my god. It's happening. Give me Garrodon. Come on, Garrodon, 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 Garrodon. Garrodon. I can't play Garrodon even. I don't want Garrodon, I want to hate it. Okay, hates it, hates it. This is bullshit. You guys know that this is bullshit. Hope you guys know that this is bullshit. So I can block with the ranger here, kill that. What do I do with this guy? I can't even move him to do anything useful. I can make this trade. Why do I want to move this? Uh, <laughs> just kill that to keep that alive. I could block with. Damn it, if I had one more fairy, I could range and. Could have blocked with Shara, but that's my whole turn then. This, this play is stronger. Set up to double collect, I can maybe finish off with Hellfire. He can't, cannot play an aggressive creature and I would ch just still lose if he has... If he has... Toad. Like Toad is the card I cannot play around. 
And if this gets flying, I might even go face with it. I actually could have Garrodon, right? Because I double collect plus one. Would have Garrodon worked? I spent seven Ferrier. Spent seven Ferrier last turn and I drew. Yeah, I would have had ten. A top deck Garrodon would have cleared the board. That's so tilting. So tilting. Like, at first couple was like, do you actually outscale Colossus? I was like, probably. But if I don't draw my scaling, I have half of my deck now has scaling. I think I even have an Archon. Uh, yeah, of course, Carol and Prox Commanders. It's everything that has more than 7 cost or 7. Uh, why not BMOF? BMOF is just too bad. It's weak to removal. It's actually trading. He shouldn't be thinking about trading here. Oh my god. He's probably not going to expect the Hellfire. Now I need Garadon again. It's not even good with Garadon. so afraid that he might trade. He has one ninja toad left. That ninja toad needs to be like super far deep in his deck. Like how can you not make this trade? How can you not make this trade? He has to be afraid. set up for lethal next turn. If he's if, if he's going face, I hellfire and fly up with both creatures. Oh no. Music intensifies. Oh, zero cost hates it. I can actually block. Oh my god, I'm safe against Ninja Toad now. Do I do it though? Or do I just go face? Because I can fly here, I can fly here and Hellfire. Fuck it, we block. B, defensive, B, B, defensive. And next turn this guy can go face. Unless I miss something, he can't kill me with a Toad. Do I actually drop Shara for the Lulz? I should be drawing. Like, this guy goes face next turn with a Prophet summoned on this field. Do I need to block some lands? Like, block this against Sunken Tower? Can, yeah, he can profit. I need to play around profit. Yeah, now he can't profit of Titan Ninja Toad from there. I guess he couldn't do his this turn anyway. I will help for next turn. Oh my god, that fever! Oh my god, the music's so epic. It's epic. <laughs> 